the hat wrong? Nah. Okay, I don't care. I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, nope. So, yeah, returning someplace after a long time can be weird. This an okay time? So what are you so doing? You, the, uh, no, uh, no, no, you first. first. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, just see my my super cool TV star ex dad sort of person. <laughs> no, I, uh, I have a three day weekend because they found out that the AP Chem teacher was cooking GHB on school property and also operating a Nexium style sex cult. <laughs> I also figured it was a, a good opportunity to escape dystopian Connecticut and culture up in Manhattan. Uh, it happened, like, two weeks ago. He's already plotting his revenge. We need to deal with Nina, Howard DM me. Lucy, uh, Oliver? Lucy! Oh, oh my god, Lucy! It is so cool to meet you. I've heard your podcast, but I usually, like, listen to it on two times speed, and your voices are so much deeper than I thought. Hey. <laughs> is it just me, or did adult business things sound kind of queer-coded? <laughs> Literally, one of the coolest people on the internet right now. Seriously, oh. Bloody Mabel is, like, my favorite thing to happen since those baby witches tried to hex the moon. They tore. Anyway, I uploaded you on the Days 100. Sorry. It's, like, just, it's really, really inspiring. Have you seen all that stuff on mental health TikTok? Yeah, so this TikToker, he made, like, this whole timeline of your life and then cross-referenced the various deaths, murders, etc. with the DSM-5. Anyway, you are so lucky. It's probably, like, so easy for you to get, like, Xannies and Klonopin and stuff. I prayed to the 100 Gex Street to get a real diagnosis, but my mom, she like hates Big Pharma, so. Here comes the pepper. Oh, wait for it. It was used by uh, by Post Malone and, uh, and Missy Elliott. Yes. Oh God, do you not wash these? <laughs> what? Holy shit, is this the murder weapon? What are you guys talking about? Fine. I'll go to the bathroom. I think I know how people are getting into your apartment. How do you know about these? I used to play hide and seek with an eye out from across the hall. Oh, right. These must have been used during prohibition for moving contraband. Uh, don't go that way. Why not? It's a dead end. You should follow me. Follow you? You're not a part of this. I am calling your mother. No, uh, she does not want to see me, not after I skipped her wedding. There's a, a maintenance ladder that runs next to a secret elevator on the A-line. Hypothetically, <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Sounds like it's our baby daddy. I can't stop thinking. Hey, you still get a bloody nose. I mean, just record her then. Nina's super hormonal. Seems like she's right on the edge, so. Just give her a little push. What if things had gone differently? 14C would still be my front door. That guy would be my dad. Take me on college visits, worrying if I had an eating disorder, getting it wrong when I inevitably changed my pronouns. <laughs> what do you mean? Later. Yeah, so real. Hey, could I ask you about Jan? No, no, uh, no, I just wanted to say that, uh, when I was listening to your podcast, she seemed like a good match to me, too. So you shouldn't, you know, feel embarrassed and alone after we left. And, uh, so I'm, what I'm trying to say is that I just, I hope that you find somebody someday. And I get why Jan seemed right before everything got all crazy. Yeah, Mom and I were fighting again. That's why I bailed on the wedding. She knows that I don't like him. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not that he's a bad guy. He's just not. You know, it wasn't easy with her, without you. You know, it was really, really nice to finally get a text from you, but eight years is like, that's like a really long time <laughs> while well, you're allowed. See, you know, this, um, 
this is why out of the five dads that I have had, you are, you are by far my favorite. <laughs> Hey, um, you know, the night of the wedding, it's the same night you got arrested. And instead of going to the church, I, I tried coming here to see you. Can we do it at my place? Well, I have furniture. Returning someplace after a long time can be weird. Things seem smaller, emptier. And I guess how you ended up coming back and why has a lot to do with how weird things get. You know, I really came here because I'm worried about you. I do, there is some real shit going on in this building, Charles, and you need to get tougher. And you need to find them before they find you. I don't really know what that means, but maybe you should do something about that feeling. 